It looks like a story that's been told hundreds of times. A tall, athletic, international basketball player coming to the U.S. hoping to play college ball before ultimately going pro. But Chinonso Aboko is not your average high school basketball player. He arrived at Rochester's Bishop Kearney High School in 2010, leaving behind his family in Nigeria, not for basketball, but the chance for a better education. I told my mom this is what I want to do for myself and become a better person in life and a better student. And, and I was like, this is, a, uh, this is a challenge that I have to go on myself. Through a Nigerian educational foundation, Shinonso was one of a few students offered a scholarship to study at an American school. But with a limited knowledge of English, the transition to life in the U.S. wasn't an easy one. It was tough. Uh, it was tough for first. And uh, the only thing that I, I just look up that I, I would never uh, uh, go down without fighting. So I would say that I would put my 100% in it. As his host parent, Amory Shepard remembers the long nights she initially spent helping Chinonso with his schoolwork. But she knew his hard work would pay off in the end. He wants to be successful, and not just for himself, but he wants to represent his family home. Um, he wants to represent them very well, and he has. Chinonso says striving for success is simply what's expected back home in Nigeria. Like the place that I came from, you don't, everybody around you want, you want to do well, and nobody wants to stay around the house and do nothing. They don't want to, they don't want to ask for nothing. They don't. They want their own. Chinonso's effort in the classroom has already produced results, as he's gone from struggling with the English language to being on the honor roll. But Chinonso's teacher and basketball coach, John Boone, says basketball has played just as important of a role in his development. I think basketball was a huge assimilation for me because it gave him something in common with a lot of people here. You know, he was very, very quiet when he first got here. And, you know, now you see him, he laughs, he jokes around, you know, you know. You, know, you saw in class, he gets up, he's asking people for help. He would have never done that his first year here. It just He wasn't comfortable with it. He wasn't very comfortable with basketball either. Despite being six foot nine, Chinonso grew up playing soccer, not basketball. When he first thought about playing for Bishop Kearney, host parent Kevin Shepard was worried the sport might be too physically demanding. Along with being six nine, six ten, he is about 160 pounds. He was real thin. And uh, he said he wanted to play basketball, and I was like, I, I was terrified. As a sophomore on the varsity team, Shinonso's impact was minimal. But as he did with his schoolwork, Shinonso worked hard to get better on the court. Soon enough, colleges began to take notice. It was crazy. I, I, I didn't even believe it because I, I used to see all these guys on, on television. Like, all them, like he, he talking to the players and everything. When I see them, like... I was like, wow, this is a big time. I can't, <laughs> I can't believe this, this is happening to me. After originally wanting to go to another part of the country, Chinonso decided last October to play at Syracuse, in large part because of the prestigious Whitman School of Management. And while the decision was his own, Chinonso's family and friends are glad he's staying close to home. The longer he was here, uh, the more he became family. We was like, man, do we really want him to go that far away? Chinonso is like a... Uh... He's like a brother to me, but since I got here, he's, we've been kind of really close, and it's, it's been a wonderful experience because he's really nice, we understand each other, and he's been good. Whether it's playing video games with little brother Kevin Jr. or pointing to where a teammate should be on the basketball court, Shinonso is constantly becoming more comfortable with his life in the United States. But he doesn't forget where he came from, speaking to his family in Nigeria every week via Skype. Still. As the second family in the United States can attest to, Chinonso's best is yet to come. The sky's the limit. He's got the perfect attitude. He's got the work ethic, um, and he's dedicated. In Rochester, Elliot Polikoff, NCC News.